And there is the boom as the Bears make their way down the hill. Ready for some football here tonight. Staying in those black jerseys. Again, they will be back into the and, and Billy Red Freeze ones. bring in the yep. uh, the flag for the, in honor of his mom. So yep, the camouflage flag, and every game he's been doing that. Very hard to, uh, for that family to go with the loss of Sherry in this past year, but Billy proudly bringing that flag down every week. Devin Kendon has it teed up on the near side. The whistle sounds. Yellow shoes. The approach is a low squibber fielded by one of the upbacks at about the 25 yard line. And he fumbles the ball, and West Branch will recover it. Number 58, Chase Volker, is a lineman. Not quite sure what to do. He got popped. I think that was Sparks down the field. Knocked it right out of his hands. West Branch will get the football at the 22 yard line. They wanted to get that offense out there and see what they could do. And instead, they're going to face the Bears' offense knocking on the red zone. They will come out, one back set, twins left, one out to the right is Shaver. Turn, handoff, off tackle, right side for Lenock. Looks for some running room, cuts it back to the left side, looking for a block from Barnes, turns it back up 10, fighting his way five, down to the two, one yard line. That'll be a gain of 20. A goal for the Bears. At the two, on the left hash. Barnes in at fullback, Kenan at a wing, double tight. There is handoff for Lenock, waiting for a block, fights his way to the end zone. Touchdown Bears, 28 seconds into the ball game. So Rocha will slide over, grab the ball, snap it to Rummelhart, who will spot it for Devin Kendon. Snap on the money, kick is up, and right through the uprights. So 11.32 to go in the first quarter. West Branch goes on top by a score of 7-0. Jerry... Well, and I think that was part of the special team coach's strategy was to squib that thing down there and not give them the opportunity to set up their return. Yeah. Another squib hits the same guy, and this time he's going to just fall on it. And he's able to get to it finally at the 34-yard line. Defensively, playing back at safety, they're going to put Wargo out on a corner. He's matched up with Mason Compton. Durant showing wishbone a lot of times, but they also will do this, three wide right, one left out of the gun. They're going to run the speed option. They piss it out, pitch it out to Dykes. He's got a couple of blocks out across the 40, 42 yard line where he's brought down a gain of eight on the play. Blake and Compton twins left, twins to the right side as well. Kleppy in the backfield next to Bentley. Now they'll run motion with Blake. Fake it to him, hand off to the second man, Kleppy. He's fighting his way up across the 45. Give him a gain of... Starting up front at the uh, tackles, and that's that's where the key for the Bears is, is going to be controlling the middle of that line of scrimmage. Staying out of the gun, there is the pitch, and this time Dykes in the backfield stumbled a little bit, gives him a little bit of room. Penalty flag comes in from the sideline. Dykes gets ahead for maybe a gain of a six-yard line. Again, 7-0 Bears. Fumble on the opening kickoff, and then a two plays, 22 yards for Linock. And there is Bentley forced out of the Cooper pocket. Cooper Cobbler and Dietz. Cobbler was the first to get to him, forced him up, and then Dietz was there to finish him back inside the 30. They'll say all the way to the 20. That they need to sometimes pay attention to that, but great pressure right there. Now it's second down, 29 to go for the Wildcats. Trips right, Bentley sprints out that way. Blitz coming, steps up, throws. He's got a man out there. Blake makes the catch out in front of him. He's wrestled down by Donovan out to the 32, 33 yard line. That'll be a gain of six. Third down and 23 from the 33 yard line. They'll go up into that flex bone. Double wings tight. Bentley straight drop back to pass. Rolls to his left, looking to throw, looking to throw. Nothing there. Swarmed under. Now he just tosses it up, and it will fall incomplete. And that will force Durant into it. Four touchdowns. Another this point, you got Evans out here basically playing a corner for blocking purposes. It shows his versatility. Yeah. Bentley 
Gets oh, it blocked. Block. Sparks right there. Second big special teams play by the freshman. West Branch takes over at the 21 yard line. Boy, he was in there quick, wasn't he, Gracie? Holy cow. I, that didn't even hurt. Two yard line. This time on the near hash mark instead of the middle of the field. They'll come up in the straight eye formation. Shaver splits out wide, wide right. Barnes to the left. Canning up under center. There is the triple option. Hands off to Kendon. Kendon bulldogging his way inside the 20, down to the 15. Sideline right before that. <laughs> Second down and four at the 15-yard line. There is handoff left side for Lennox. Bakes an arm tackle in the backfield. Looking for a block out there on the edge. Turns it into the end zone, but they're going to get a penalty flag. Matt Schauber was out. Ball on the left hash this time. Bears staying in that I form. Barnes left, Shaver still in there, comes out right. Cobbled the tight end on the right side. Durant showing blitz, and there's the handoff up the middle, and Lenock dives his way inside the 15 down to the third down and inches, just inside the 12-yard line. Staying in that straight eye. There is the handoff to Kendon. He kind of took the ball last second from Koenig. He's going to fight for add to it. First and 10 from the Durant 11. Offset eye, and they will hand off to Lenock. He weaves his way through a couple of blocks, gets down to the six. And then I see you'll think the Bears will go outside or put it up in the air, but unless they can stop us, like there's no no reason not to. Durant showing blitz, eight guys, and there is Lenox. <laughs> nice little stutter step in the backfield, and then turns it up inside of a block from Shaver for six more. They yeah. He just has a burst of speed that just shoots him to the outside. Roach's snap is put down by Roma Hart and Kendon drills it right through the uprights. 6.24 to go first quarter. West Branch on top, 14 to zero. Back at the 15 yard line. It's that second tier. And they've got three guys at the 30, five guys up right at the 50 yard line. Kendon. I don't think 58 wants this ball coming to no. him for a third time in a row. And this time, Kenan will kick it deep. Fielded by Conley at the 10. Works up the near side and is tripped up. Keeps his feet. Comes up the middle of the field and is finally wrestled down by Wargo out at the 30-yard line. Just play tight because Matt's got great speed. Right. Durant coming out in the wishbone this time. There is the turn. Off tackle right side for Blake. He's... Hits his own man and then is grabbed and thrown back by four or five black jerseys right there at the line of scrimmage. No 31 yard line. 5.40 to go. First quarter. Bears 14. Durant 0. Trips right for the Wildcats. West Branch showing blitz. There is the second man through off that jet sweep look. It is Kleppy and he is grabbed and thrown down as I believe that was Evans out there stringing that play out. Roach up. Look, they run motion. They fake the jet sweep, and then they hand it off to the back out of the backfield right behind him, almost like a lead play. Third down and nine. Bentley straight drop back to pass. Cobblep with some pressure. There's the throw, and the receiver turned half a second late. Hit him in the helmet as it went by. Well, Bentley the punter. Only about seven yards deep. And now he backs up a couple more steps. Again, Barnes back at his own 33. And this one angling away from Barnes, and it will hit right on the sideline. Barnes grabs it at the 30, comes up the near side, breaks one tackle, waits for a block, turns on the Jets again, bouncing his way back up across midfield where he's finally brought down. Great job by Barnes to get 20-yard difference in that return. Yeah. Bears come up, one back set, twins right, the short side of the field. Shaver splits out wide to the left. Now Kinnon goes in motion that way. There is the speed option. Koenig's going to keep it himself. Turns it up. Gets tripped up by Kleppe as he falls forward to about the 45-yard. Kleppe just barely a shoestring tackle. Otherwise, I think Cooper could have had several more yards there. Ball at the 45. Now Koenig. Sprint out right. Steps up. Throws. He's got Wargo out here. Bobbles the catch as he had it right in his midst. He was start to get a little numb and... It's just a different feel trying to catch that football out here on a night like tonight. Third down and five for the Bears. Out of the gun, trips right. Cobbler all alone to the left. Koenig 
Quarterback draw all the way and fights his way up inside the 40. Still going, still going. Finally brought down at the 37. Give him eight ons go outside, and so basically Cooper had to take on two guys with three in the middle to block him. Back up under center, twins left, Shaver to the right, tight end on the right side, one back set. Blitz coming, Koenig, three-step drop, there's the slant, and Shaver makes the grab as he takes a shoulder in the gut, brings it down at the 30-yard line. Of course, Matt darted right in front on the pass route to get it, so I think it caught him a little by surprise. <laughs> Second down and three at the 30. Caney going to come up under center. Blitz coming, and we'll see. <laughs> Butch noticed it. <laughs> Butch notices a lot of things. So back up under center. Twins left again. Blitz coming off the outside. Caney doesn't see it. Now he feels the pressure, rolls to his right, looking for a block, turns it up to the far side. Oh! Great block by Barnes, and then Caney gets drilled out of bounds. And that's going to be half the distance to the goal over there. Clock starts, 2.40 to go. First quarter, Bears up 14-0, down to the Durant 13-yard line, looking to add to it. Caning under center, out of the eye. Option, handoff goes to Ken and bounces it back to the other side, cuts it behind the referee, and into the end zone. A 13-yard touchdown for Devin Kenden. What a nice run there. Uh, he, he took... Now he's got to take a deep breath, come back, and get ready to kick the extra point here. And penalty flag as, like, you know, um, we know when the snap's going to be. Um. So back it up to the 15, a 25-yard extra point attempt. And this one is drilled through the upright. That would have been good from a lot farther out than it was. Making sure that the 11, never, knowing that they stay in their lane, telling them to be aggressive. And, and so far, special teams has, has made a difference in this game. Kendon with the kick. Conley will field back at his own six-yard line. Angles up to the far side of the field. Evans and Sparks corner him. And then he's drilled by, look at that, 10 black jerseys right around him inside the 20-yard line. So first down at the 17-yard line. Out of that flex bone. Again, a fullback just two yards behind Bentley. Motion into the backfield by Blake. They're going to fake to him. They counter back the near side for Dykes. He's got some running room. Grabbed by the shoulder pads, but he's out across the 25. Bentley will come up under center, send trips to the right. Quick quarterback keeper, and penalty flag comes in as he fights his way out to the 30-yard line. I wonder if they weren't quite set, though. Same formation. They go right back to that quarterback sneak, and the Bears sniffed it out this time. Roach up, and Dietz fighting Bentley, still keeping his feet. Now he's finally brought down about the 28. So the ability of their skilled people is, yeah. is excellent. <clears throat> out of the gun this time is Bentley. Trips to the right. Straight drop back to pass with the click slant route here. The ball was tipped. Penalty flag comes in from the backfield. There was contact out there. It's the field, yeah. darn near. And uh, I think that's what the coaching staff is questioning. So pass interference against the Bears. Already their fourth penalty of this first quarter. There is the triple option. Bentley gets the outside. And Tucker gets underneath oh. the block and makes the stop for only a gain of a yard. It, Impressive. That was blocked well on that right side. Second down and eight, 35 seconds to go in the first quarter. Bentley out of the gun. They're going to run a reverse to Blake, and he's got some running room over on that far side across midfield, turns it up, and is wrestled down across the 50 down to the West Branch 45-yard line. First down. At the 45-yard line. Up into that flex bone look. Motion. They're going to counter back to the near side, and Dykes is grabbed in the backfield and wrestled down at the 47. Loss of two on the play for the final play of the first. At their own 17 yard line, they've moved the ball to the West Branch 45, and then a two yard loss right before the quarter. Now Durant comes out in that wishbone. Bentley up under center, toss sweep left side for Dykes, and he's got a wall out there. Now he looks to turn it up. He's inside the 40, 35, down to the 30 yard line before he's finally brought down. They're getting some. Conley will split out wide to the near side. They'll go to that flex bone again. 
Blake in motion this time. There is the handoff to the fullback, and he is grabbed by Dietz, pushing him back, waiting for some help. Kendon right there, among others. And that's going to be a gain of or a second down and 11 at the 34-yard line. Wildcats will send trips to the right. Blake and Dykes and Conley. Bentley out of the shotgun. Barnes showing some pressure off the edge. Bentley steps up under. Evans breaks an arm tackle. Now rolls out. Kendon right there. And Rocha over to finish him off back at the 41. The one somewhere down there. Probably down in one of the pickups. Third down and 17 back to the 40-yard line. Twins either direction. Straight drop back to passes. Bentley's under pressure again and gets away from the first man. Cannot get away from the second. Cobble and Barnes sandwich him at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Durant comes out an empty set. Bentley again is the punter, so I wonder if they're going to do something quick here. Trips left, twins right. Straight drop back to pass. Rolls out to the right. There's Evans. Cannot bring him down. Tries to roll back to his left. Got Donovan there kind of trailing him. The pass down the field is caught for the first down at the 20. What a great catch. And Standing up over on his own power, so hopefully it was just the wind knocked out of him. Looks like they're going to line Conley up in at the other wing out of that flex bone. 17, Chris Saley will come out near side. Blake goes in motion. They quick pitch it out here. Cobbler trying to string him out along with Lenock. And Lenock there misses the tackle. He had him and just lost it. And Blake fights his way inside the 15 down to the 12, close to a first. He'll line up in the backfield next to Bentley out of the gun. Twins either direction. And there is the option left side. Bentley fakes it. Evans didn't fall for it. Grabs him, and they're throwing him back. He's going to get no gain on the play. Same formation, twins left and right. Dykes in the backfield next to Bentley. Clock approaching eight minutes to go. Motion, they're going to fake the handoff, counter it backside with Dykes, and he bowl, bowl, bowling balls his way down inside the tent. Doing their job. Bears staying in that base 4-3. Empty set this time. Barnes showing pressure up the middle. He's there, and Bentley steps up under it, and he's going to fight his way and into the end zone for the Durant touchdown. One to six. We'll go back to that flex bone. Motion Blake to the near side. They'll fake it to him. Bentley rolling out, throws, and over the intended target. Incomplete. So the pass no good. West They're all bunched tight almost between the hashes here. Yeah. And that front line's got to be ready. And it is a low bouncing kick that Schreiber will field. 25-yard line up that far side, fighting his way forward. Look out, across the 45, midfield, Bentley there. But Schreiber still fighting and is brought down at the 49-yard line. Second straight, we went 22-22, 50, now 50 again. So we'll see if the Bears can punch it in. 21-6, trips left. Straight drop back. There is the flare out here to Kinnon. Makes the grab, but is hit right away as Blake did a good job to get underneath the block of Schauber. Tackle uh, on a good runner. So second down and 13 back at the 47. Canning under center with twins to the right of the formation. Blitz coming right up the middle. He sprints out to the right. Looking for some running room. He's got a man underneath, but he's going to still run. Now Cobble turns to into a blocker. Koenig breaks through a couple of tackles. Finally brought down inside the 30 at the 29. Great play call, too, because it was a sprint out, and they were blitzing. They had eight guys coming up the middle, and he just rolled out to the right, and then it was a matter of how far can he go before somebody catches him. Off tackle left side for Lenock, just kind of squirting his way forward inside the 25 to the shoulders, and just boom, got as far as he could. Like running through the tires. How far can you make it? Yep. Yeah. Twins left for Koenig. Right in the middle of the field. Hand off right side for Lenock. Busts it to the outside. Turns it back up. Tripped up as he gets down to about the 14. That'll be not, say, 10 yards down to the 13. Clock runs. 5.30 to go. First half. 21 to 6 Bears. First and 10 at the Durant 13 yard line. Offset eye behind Koenig. Strong side to the left. Cooper will sprint out, handoff to Lenock, and he's tripped up in the backfield. Blake right there. Grab. Second down and seven. Shaver splits out wide right. Wargo to the right, to the other way, rather. Again, blitz coming. Nine guys into the box, and 
The handoff goes to Kendon. Not a lot of running room. No gain on the... Third and seven at the 10. Straight eye behind Koenig. Barnes back in there, splits out wide to the right this time. Five-step drop, Koenig chucks it up over the near side for Schauber, and he cannot bring it in as the defender was right there. Hash mark at the 10-yard line, fourth and seven. West Branch gonna go to a wing formation. Schauber comes in motion over to the near side. There is the play action. Roll out to the left is Koenig. Turns the shoulders. Now throws into the end zone. He's got Wargo sliding catch right on the near side for the seven yard or ten yard touchdown. Second straight week. That you know, Cooper on those sprint options, is, his accuracy has really improved from the beginning of the year. And a lot of it is because he's aimed right at the target there. Yeah. Low snap. Rummelhart does a good job to get it down just in time, and Kendon drills it through. Use the clock and, and work on that uh, two-minute offense. They do not let want to let this Durant offense get any more confidence no. than what they got off of that last drive. Kendon with the approach, and a sidewinder angling near side. Conley Fields bobbles a little bit, comes up the near sideline, 20, 23-yard line where he's wrestled out of bounds. Looked like Barnes and Graves down. Uh, safety in place of Shaver out there. Trips to the left of this formation right now as Bentley up under center. Straight drop back to pass. Looks for that flare route and gets the pass completed as Kendon tried to get underneath that block. Was able. Second and seven at the 28. Into the flex bone this time. Blake motions to the near side. They'll pitch it out to him, and right there as Lenock gets stiff arm, but pulls him down at the 29-yard line, a gain of a yard on the play. Five to go in the half. West Branch 28, Durant 6. Into the wishbone now. There is crossbuck action to Dykes, and he is greeted in the hole by Donovan. 36 versus 36. Dykes across the 30 to about the 33, but it'll bring up fourth down. Been a lot of time in film, and they know what the tendencies are. It looks like they're going for it here. Yep, Bentley's going to come up under center. One splits out wide to the left, trips to the right. Bentley with a long count, and they're going to keep it with him. He looks for that left side, fighting his I way don't forward. Think he got He's it. thrown back. It will depend on the spot, but. As it stands, it's a first down. Clock runs, 2.15 to go. Durant out of the gun this time. Twins either direction. Kleppi in the backfield next to Bentley. Straight drop back to pass. He steps up underneath the pressure of Kabla. Looking to throw on the near side. Now he's going to keep it and run. Near sideline is forced out by Barnes. Got to make that play. Yeah. Now look at this. Bentley's going to split out to the near side. Dykes is going to run out of the Wildcat. Trips to the left. And... Dykes is just going to keep it. Probes up the middle of the field. Keeping those legs churning out to the 49-yard line. A gain of six. six. points, and six points is not going to do it. No. Twip, trips right, twins left. Bentley steps up, fires this one out. He's got the freshman out there, Compton. Turns it up that far sideline, trying to make a couple guys miss, and falls ahead to the West Branch 34th down. Get the ball back, put points on the board. Now Durant knocking on the red zone. They'll send trips to the right, speed option. Bentley pitches it out to Dykes. He's turned up, and great job by Lenock that time. Force it up where you've got three or four black jerseys to help you out. It goes for a sack here. Yeah. Or a turnover. Motion from Blake. Penalty flag comes in. We're going to have staring right at him. Didn't even see him. So I'm hiding down here right behind <laughs> Jacob Barnhart. There you go. Empty backfield, three left. Straight drop back to pass is Bentley. Pressure oh. by Deeds, and he is thrown back at the 46-yard line. West Branch taking a timeout with 31 seconds to go. Fourth and 20 and, and made it work, so defense needs to step up here. Trips right, one left. Bentley out of the gun. Straight drop back to pass. Steps up, looking for some yeah. running room. Nothing there. He's going to get swarmed under at the 49. West Branch will take uh, their final timeout with 23 seconds. Flag comes in, though. Um, Third down and a short 12 at the 33. Clock does start. West Branch canceled their timeout, so 15 seconds left. 
Bentley, straight drop back to pass. They look for the shuffle. Nope, he's going to roll out. Steps up, just chucks this one into the end zone. Linock down there on the coverage and tips it away, incomplete, with three seconds to go. Unless it's uh, right in your midst and you have nothing but green in front of you, nobody's standing around you. Three wide to the left, two wide to the near side. Bentley rolls out to his left. Evans forcing him out. So Bentley rolling around, comes back to the near side, and sidearms a couple of guys and now just steps out of bounds and throws this one away, incomplete. They're going to say he stepped out back at the 43, so that'll actually be a 10-yard loss. And, and a good, good, good pressure from both Cobla and Evans for uh, defensive ends there. Kicking north to south. That wind still a little light down there, about five miles per hour, kind of the northeast, blowing towards us. Bentley with a low squib. Great job by Matson to cover it at the 48-yard line. And you got to give Durant, I mean, credit for trying it. You know, they yeah. want to get back in this ball game. And well, and you look at how the game started. They wanted the ball to get that offense going, and they fumbled the kickoff. So, West Branch with it. all aspects of this game. Hugest crowd I've seen out of out at that school. So first down for the Bears. Twins right, eye formation. Caning under center at their own 48-yard line. Straight drop back to pass. Quick screen out to Barnes. Makes the first guy miss. Siff arms another man, carrying the defender all the way down to the 40-yard line. That will be a gain of 12 on the play. Only five games. You know, he's halfway through his sixth game, but he's showing that he's getting more and more comfortable getting more and more rapport out there with his teammates. He's up under center again, out of the eye formation. Handoff off tackle right side, Lenock cuts it back to the near side, looks for a block from Barnes, now looks for a block from Wargo, 30, 25, stiff arm, 20, 15, 10, 5, into the end zone! Touchdown Bears, 40 yards for Luke Lenock. No flags on the play. Uh, great uh, blocking at the point of attack, and that's what makes the, the difference along with Lenock's speed. Yeah. Well, again, just great vision by Lenock as he cut it back. Barnes was there, realized that he was coming back as there's the snap, kick up, and Kendon gets the extra point through. 11-41-6, exactly the way the Bears wanted to start. Hopefully that's the points that Coach Tiley was talking about, and we can keep adding some more here. Yeah, yeah. Kendon with it teed up. Conley back at his own six. This one low end over end. Hits, bounces right into Conley's lap at the 10. Heads up to the far side of the field. And there is Barnes, Tatum Koenig, among others, on the stop at the 38 yard. Quinn, I think you can really sense it down here on the sideline. There's a different intensity the Man. second half. We'll see how this defense responds. We've got Empty backfield again. Tucker late getting over cover in the far side. They're going to run the speed option near side. And the ball is fumbled. And Blake trying to get on it. And he's able to, but back at the 19-yard line. That's because there was nobody covering that pitch. And there's somebody assigned to every, yeah. every play. Somebody's got quarterback. Somebody's got uh, the running back. Twins either way. Great move by Cobble. Hits Bentley as he throws it. Bentley completes the pass out there to Dykes. Dykes down that far side, out across the 25 to the 27-yard line. He was just a step late getting there. Otherwise, he would have forced an incomplete pass, if not a fumble. Third down and 12. Out of the flex, Blake goes in motion. They will toss it out here to him. That time, Cobble gets sealed, and there is Blake gets <laughs> trailed by Lenock at the 34. <laughs> Lenock fought off that. And looks like Durant is going to punt it here. West Branch doesn't have anybody back, though. They're not buying it. And Bentley will get a nice spiraled kick, hits at the 32, takes a Durant bounce, and for the first time tonight, West Branch will start well in their own territory, back at the 16-yard line. Just teaching him, saying, here's some things that you're doing. You're doing great. You know, here's some things that'll make you do even better. There is the quick snap out of the backfield to Linock, and he's going to turn it up the field. Looks for some running room across the 25 out to the 27-yard line. The Bears are practicing that, and, you know, nine yards on the first down run. Second and one. There is the option keep by Koenig. Turns it up, looks for some running room. He's at the 40 and is wrestled down right there. Great open field tackle by Bryce LaFrenz, a freshman. I'm doing That's a nice play from a freshman. Assuming the roster's accurate. Twins left, Shaver to the right, under center is Koenig. 
Blitz coming. Nine guys. They're going to roll out. Looks for Barnes. Now he's got Cobble underneath. And just some miscommunication, I think. At that open receiver. Well, he was rolling to his left. And I think I mean, he had Barnes or Cobble either one because there was eight guys coming. But unable to complete the pass. There is the handoff. Oh, an option. And they're going to pitch it out to Lennox. Tries to get some running room. A lot of white jerseys in the backfield. But he makes a miss and gets up across the 45, out to the 49-yard line. A gain of nine on the play. On him yeah. and, and had good position. It looked like miscommunication on the snap count there because I don't think two or three guys on the line went. That's why there was such good pressure. Third and a yard, though. Koenig, handoff, off tackle right side. Lenox squirts through a small hole, turns it back up the middle of the field. 45-40, down to the 38-yard line. On the tackle. And you're wondering where they came from. Yeah. Because he has it, you know. It just doesn't seem like he's carried the ball that much. Seven and a half to go in the third quarter. 35 to six Bears. Blitz coming and offsides there on Durant against that run. So when the Bears are up under center, they'll come up offset eye this time. And they're running a 4-4. I mean, they got eight guys in the box. There's a handoff for Lenock. Cuts it back in the middle of the field. Down he goes. 15. He's at the 10-5. <laughs> Look at that speed. He had two guys converging on him at the 10, and they just kind of ran into each other as he goes into the end zone untouched. You know, great point of attack. Um, Tysinger pulled there, had a nice block. Lenox split the safety. They had the angles, but... Again, he just uh, burst a 7.20 to go in the third quarter. Extra point coming by Kendon. Snap on the money. Kick is up and good. 42-6 in favor of the Bears. Kendon with the approach. Another low squibber. Bobbled back there by one of the upbacks. He just lets it go. Now Conley picks it up, comes up the middle of the field, and he's swarmed under at the 27-yard line of some of those young guys on special teams, and they translated to success when they got starting out there offensively or defensively. Yep. Experience is experience. Flex bone. There is the off tackle left side for Blake, and he collides with Kendon right at the line of scrimmage. He's going to get ahead for about two on the play. Linebacker play has been solid. We'll give him a gain of three on that one. So second down and seven out of the gun. They will hand it off to Blake. Jet sweep on the near side. Barnes and Cobbler read it perfectly. Barnes runs him out of bounds. They'll drop him in the backfield for a loss of two on the play. On the next series here, Brandon Rummelhart is warming up, and I think they want to give him some action. And it's uh, no injuries, obviously, for uh, Cooper because Cooper's actually in playing defense right now. There's Bentley. Chucks this one up deep, and oh. a great adjustment down there by the freshman Compton. Breaks a couple of tackles, brought down into West Branch territory. So that uh, our defensive backs, you know, just outran it. Yeah. So first and 10 after a gain of 30. And there is off tackle near side for Blake, and he is wrestled down after a short gain on the play. Here in the third, bears up 42 to six. And we got uh, Graves over there, young sophomore, uh, giving Tucker a break, getting some Experience. There's that wildcat with Dykes, goes off tackle left side, and he is stood up and dropped as he gets inside the 40. Quietly, quietly has a solid game every game. Right, yeah. And he's playing in the middle, so I mean, he's making calls, he's reading everything. As there is, straight drop back to pass Bentley again, throws the out route, and Compton cannot bring it in this time as the pass, j mm -hmm. he's just grown into that position as this week, is, each week has gone on. And he's probably one of the smallest middle linebackers we've had in quite some time. Yeah. Fourth down, they're going to go for it. Bentley throws the out route. Compton makes the catch as he goes to a knee at the third. Ball down to the 30-yard line. Back up under center is Bentley out of the flex bone. Dykes in motion to the left side. They'll hand it off to him off tackle. Bounces his way down inside the 25. To about the you know, uh, out of all the running backs we've seen this year, uh, he's one of the better ones. Yeah. He's listed 5'11, 195. Second down and two. Blake comes in motion this time. They're going to run the triple option and stood up is Kleppy, but he breaks through the tackle. They gave up on it, and then Kleppy gets down to the 15 yard line for a gain of seven. 
I, 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 42 to six. Number 12, Curtis Lilenthal into the game, splits out wide to the near side. Out of the wishbone, they're gonna hand it to Kleppe again. Nope, the ball comes loose, and let's see who comes up with it. It's still loose, scrambling for it, and it looks like Durant is back on it. He got hit immediately um, by, by Dietz and Rocha there. Five wide, out of the gun, straight drop back is Bentley under pressure, fires the out route to Compton, makes the catch. Right as he turns, War goes there to make the stop. Not on core, it's just like it could have gone to anyone. I was so surprised, it was awesome. Well, and, and uh, Taylor, obviously, uh, you know, it hasn't always been a bed of roses in your high school career with injuries. In fact, I think you missed the softball season, and you've come back on that now. And obviously, you're looking forward to your senior season, senior season in softball. What else do you have going on? Um, I'm doing volleyball right now, and I also have track, which has been going awesome. We go to state in the past that couple years. Oh, so, yeah. Great. And Russell, have you made your college plans uh, uh, yet? Um, hearing he's like, well, I can't even spell bio, let alone learn how to do any of it. Well, as he was talking on third down, Bentley's pass out of the back of the end zone incomplete. So now we have fourth down and four for the Wildcats at the eight yard line. Bentley steps up, Cobble misses him, rolls out, throws this one into the back of the end zone again, out of bounds, and they're oh. gonna call a flag. Obviously sees it different, and uh, I think Butch will let him know, but yeah. we'll see if the Bears can make the play here. Fourth and four again at the eight yard line. Twins either way out of the gun. Bentley straight drop back to pass. Fires the slant route and incomplete as he threw it short for the intended target out. That pulling out a Mark Sternism. Getting alumni yards. Looks great in the you know score or in the stat sheet, but not great on the scoreboard. Caning in there at quarterback, out of the gun, straight drop back to pass, comes on the slant route to Cobble, makes the grab! Down he comes to the near sideline, 35-40, he's at midfield, there he goes, 40, he's at the 30, the 20, the 10, Cooper Cobble, 92 yard touchdown reception! All right, first of all, that's the fastest Cobble we've seen in generations, Gracie. <laughs> What a great catch. What a great throw. And Went up and grabbed it, used his hands, and then turned on the Jets and outran everybody to the end zone. Extra point attempt is blocked. That is an area that we have had trouble this year. Pressure right up the middle. That is the longest pass reception in school history. Holy 92 God. yards, so. Wow. That's excellent. Koenig to Cablo is in the record books now. Kendon with the ball teed up. Drills this one high end over end. Conley lets it hit at the five and it's gonna roll into the end zone. <laughs> Martin's at a linebacker. Jacob Steichen, number 88, in at safety. Schreiber, number 15, in at cornerback. Matson at linebacker. They're gonna pitch it to the right. Blake looking to throw it. Down to the far side, chucks this one up deep and Steichen over, almost made the play, but no, it's caught. Conley down there. At midfield. Play to Cabla. I mean, his, his speed was impressive there. Uh, it, it was. Uh, and he basically ran away from his defender. And, uh, you know, you can't run away from any defensive back. That's really tough to do. There's the quick slant route to Compton. He makes the grab and is wrestled down by Schreiber after a game. Durant moved the ball down to the West Branch 35 yard line. West Branch up 48 to 6. Straight drop back to pass is Bentley. Deep drop, throws the seam route, and he's got his man, Dykes, makes the catch, turning around, and goes into the end zone for a 35-yard touchdown. Uh, uh, good, th good throw by uh, Bentley. Now they will attempt the extra point here. Callison, number 11. Bentley with a hold. Snap on the money, kick is up, and through the uprights. Fred and Fred. Fred and Fred. It's great to have family that's willing to babysit so that dad can go do these things. Bentley. With the onside kick, goes through the first line, rolling around back there, but is covered by Avant. So, and good job as you got three or four guys falling on top of him to make sure nobody gets Rocha in at guard in place of Grosner. Otherwise, Andrews, Crawl, Tysinger, and Barnhart. Now we're going to... Yeah, wait for the... <laughs> The manager to get the kicking tee off. You got Tucker and Stika split out either way. Martins and Schreiber behind Rummelhart. 
Clock starts 6.16 to go in the game, 48 to 13 in favor of West Branch. Rommel Hart hands off to Schreiber, waits for some running room, fighting his way across the 40, pushes the pile out to the 45, still won't go down, and now they will blow the whistle dead at the 46. 23, Dalton DePorter in there, a wide receiver. Splitting out wide to the left. Second down and two, Durant showing blitz. There's a handoff to the fullback, Martins. Nothing but running room in front of him. Breaks through one tackle, 35, tries to cut it back up and gets wrestled down at the 30-yard line. That'll be a gain of 24 for the Bears in this second half. And how many points have they put up? <laughs> well, they had 21 at halftime, they're at 48 now, so 27 by my count. Hand off to Schreiber. Again, waits for some running room. Grab from behind, trying to keep on those feet. Inside the 30, down to the 20. Nope, Madsen at tight end. Just staying in the eye, second down and seven. Quick hitter to Martins, right side. Just pushes his head into that pile, pushing it forward. Finally gets thrown back all the way down, almost to the 20. He's gonna be close. To Hart looks, make sure the offense is set, and just quarterback keeper, and he's going to get the first down, down to the 16-yard line. Again. It's not too bad, although I'm glad we're not going to play too late tonight either, <laughs> so the hands are getting a little cold. <laughs> first down and 10 for the Bears at the 17-yard line. There's the handoff to Martins, and he has stood up and thrown down after a gain of a yard. Big four carries for 20 yards for Devin Kendon. 32 yards for Martins, 11 for Schreiber. Second down and eight. Rommel Hart, straight drop back to pass, pump and go. Looking for Steika in the back corner of the end zone. Makes the grab! Runs underneath of it, a beautiful fade route. Steika with the six! Holy cow. Number one, great toss by Brandon Rommel Hart, who is just a wonderful kid. You know, there's nobody happier on the beer sideline than Coach Jared Tiley on yeah. that. He was really happy for his players. You hear this chant of Stika, Stika from the student section. Kendon with the extra point makes it 55 to 13 with 2.12 to go in the ball. Drew Finnegan was one of those first out there to, gr uh, to greet him. Drew got rid of the crutches this week and yeah. is in a walking boot. Uh, had a good uh, uh, appointment with his doctor and uh, looks like he'll start physical rehab this week. It's good to hear. Kick again, but goes past Connolly into the end zone. Make the grab right behind the defender. And I, you know, what do you suppose? Stike is 6'4? Yeah. You know? A uh, great target to throw to. Buter in at a defensive end right now. Bentley straight drop back to pass. Under pressure by Trickett. Gets away from him. Rolling out to the right side. Chucks it up here to the near sideline. Blake, a diving attempt. Slides into the 50-yard line marker. You know, they're, they're still playing hard. I got him for about 227 right now. Unofficially. Bentley, a little flare route out here to Blake. Madsen comes out, gets stiff-armed, slows him down enough that he almost gets brought down, but he stays on his feet. Finally, Donovan brings him down out at the 38-yard line. No. 6-0, and trying to make it seven next week. His new quarterback in here now for Durant, number four, Bryce LaFrenz, the freshman. He steps back to pass. There's a backwards lateral. This is going to be a run for Dykes. Breaks through a couple of arm tackles across midfield, carrying McTaggart with him. Martins comes over and lays the wood to him. And Donovan, actually, excuse me, at the West. Get this last play off or not. Nope, doesn't look like it. And there it is. Final horn sounds. West Branch 55, Durant 13. We will step out, take a quick timeout. We will be back with more of the Bearcast. You are listening to westbranchfootball.com. <laughs> <laughs> 